In the fall of 2019, Chicago Public Schools, led by the Office of Social Emotional Learning, Chicago Beyond, and the Children's First Fund, embarked on a long-term effort to transform CPS into a more healing-centered district. We know that to fully achieve our five-year vision, we must ensure collective wellness for CPS students, staff, families, caregivers, and communities. Experiencing trauma is not the result of random chance or individual life choices. Trauma is an equity issue for our students, families, and staff who are facing serious challenges in their lives that is beyond their control. This is why it is important for us to become a healing-centered district. As the former principal of Finger High School in Roseland and the founder and CEO of Chicago Beyond, I've witnessed how traumatic experiences can interrupt a young person's path to achieving their full human potential. Whether that's academic success, strong relationships, or opportunities in career and life. This is why healing is so important and why Chicago Beyond is excited by the district's bold vision for a healing-centered future. Since 2019, Chicago Beyond has partnered with Chicago Public Schools to help articulate this vision. It's one that underscores the importance of changing the question from what's wrong with you to what's happened to you. And as importantly, what's right with you. Healing is not about a single new program or some new intervention. It's also about ensuring every adult in the school building has the same understanding of how trauma impacts students, staff, and families, and has the same playbook of tools and strategies to address that impact. It is also about creating environments that heal rather than exacerbate trauma. I'm talking about welcoming culturally responsive environments that recognize the strengths of all people and communities in Chicago. When taken together, this holistic approach to healing can truly change the outcomes for our students. This is why Chicago Beyond is partnering with Chicago Public Schools on this work. We know that to support our students, we must create the environments and offer the tools needed to build protective factors and buffer against trauma. We must also consider the needs of each of our four stakeholder groups. First, our students, the center of our work, who we will support to heal and to become agents of their own healing and wellness. Also, our school staff, who we will prepare to act as healers through their interactions with students, but who themselves are people in need of care. And of course, our families, communities, and caregivers who are so important to the development of our students and who themselves need resources and access to support so that they and in turn our students can heal and thrive. To achieve our Healing Center vision, CPS must employ a holistic strategy. Therefore, we're focused on driving change through five key components. First and foremost, we must promote healing by becoming more aware of how our students, staff, families, caregivers, and communities learn about trauma and mental wellness. We must then look at the skills and strategies used by these groups to cope with stress and manage or prevent trauma. In addition, we need to focus on how the physical environment and the culture of a school promote wellness and belonging. We must also examine the combination of people, programs, and internal as well as external resources that are needed in order to address trauma and promote healing. Finally, we must focus on how the CPS community as a whole provides support and promotes recovery when members experience a potentially traumatic event. Now more than ever, classrooms will be a place for healing and environments that foster growth for all of our city's youth. Teachers will be equipped with the tools to encourage positive coping, stress management, self-regulation, and healthy conflict resolution skills. Children will also have the support of clinicians who have been better prepared thanks to increased access to training and comprehensive mental health guidance. Our goal is to have students walk into schools where all staff have a greater awareness of their mental health needs and how to appropriately respond to those needs. The Healing Center Project is a promise to support all of these efforts, making the whole child, all staff, and CPS families the priority. I am so excited about this framework because I really feel like it is invested in supporting 
every aspect of CPS. So it's invested in supporting our students, it's invested in supporting our families, it's invested in supporting our teachers. We are here to work for kids and we're working really, really hard for our kids and our families. This opportunity really provides a space for us to be supported in that work as well. If you don't take the time or if you don't have the skills to acknowledge what has happened and to sit with that, then healing will never happen. That's, I think, how this project has so much power because if we can get to the center of healing, then we can really help kids not forget about it, but move past it and use that um, pain in a way that's productive and in a way that is healing for themselves. This healing-centered approach is just the start of our journey. We are now mobilizing teams that will translate this vision into reality for our entire CPS community. We are incredibly excited to continue expanding this work, especially as we learn more from conversations with our families and CPS community at large. Together, we can create a healthier, more supportive district for all CPS students. For more information on our healing-centered vision, including how you can get involved, please contact the Office of Social and Emotional Learning at healingcentered at cps.edu.